cotton Incompetence and disregard in no humor Cause this situation is sad For the poor consumer The word wasa was give me gripe I asked for water, then give me pipe I can't even get me clothes to wash Me toilet full and can't even flush Now they make me condemn me toilet bowl Going back to basic and now I dig in a latrine hole I'm going back to basic Trinidad Rio Yesterday, I went to the store to buy a cooler Then get me Indian partner next door to make a chula I buy a donkey cat from Ramdeen to make a stagecoach Then put some severin in my latrine to kill the cockroach I buy a posy made in Hong Kong The only silver posy in town Well if you see the latrine I build Y'all is the cleanest one on the hill All down inside the hole and around the walls I always splitting You know why? To make sure cockroach ain't bite me Trinidad Rio Rio Back to basic Long time me, Gypsy and Kokoro Back in the earlys we used to go down Kong after show, pick up the ladies. Window shop, take them along, buy them a roti. Then find the cheapest hotel in town and make a pakoti. But time changes and so do we. So put that down in Kaizo history. Cause if you shouldn't do the same today It's like a game a Russian roulette So now before one of them get me sick I'm going back to basic <laughs> I'd rather sit down in a corner and I'm going back to basic journey. This journey is not an easy one. 
But we decided we are going to take up the mantle and we are going to go forward and we are going to be the foot soldiers because we want change and we want a better Trinidadian to be. So I thank you all so much for your love and support. Thanks, Sasha. Thank you very much. Um, so now I call Mr. John Michael and Lucas. He's going to be First thing first, I just want to uh, put God first because at the end of the day, without Him, none of this could be could have happened. Uh, second thing, I just want to want to thank my mom because at the end of the day, without her, without her, you know, this was this was a promise um, that, I, that I, I was promised by her that you know she was going to be there for me. She, she said that John, I'll be everywhere you are. You know what I mean? Everywhere. She said, I don't want to die, but you know, uh, she just would be with me in spirit. So uh, this is a very emotional thing to me. Uh, this is why I'm going hard. You know, I'm going hard, or I go home. Uh, you know, a woman by my side. You know, Sasha Ali, strong woman, and then I've come up beside the sister, which. Which to me, it really is my, is a, a good idea to my heart, you know, because she gave me the chance. She gave me the chance to, to, to showcase myself, to show my talent, to show my marketability, to show how I could market, you know, and for years I've been millionaire marketing um, with a group of artists. But without, um, without her giving me the chance, you know, the nation won't be able to see, you know, the depth. John Michael Allen Lucas, the depth of Camille and the depth of the Great White, uh, and how focused I am, and you know, uh, they, want, they, want, they, want, they want to be able to see how much I care for people, how much that I love people, how much that I want to serve my, you know, my country, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, I've been serving my country for the last 22 years of my life, you know, flying with artists, big up Nessa Preppy, big up, you know, all the artists that I ever that come on the table, man, Dr. Kerry John, Father Moses. You name it, um, multi -symptom. You, you could go to the slot, up and go to Sachi, and the list goes on. Um, these are all people that had a, a big part to play in my life that have me where I am to this day, to be the man that I am to this day, uh, to be the force that I am to this day, that at the end they are uh, leading the youths, you know, leading us to success, leading us to progressiveness, leading us to positivity. Uh, this is what I stand for. So. I would just like to tell everybody here, you know, that is here right now, that, you know, no matter what you do in life, that you could make it, you know, you, you, you just have to put your, you, you, you just have to put your, 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 your eyes on the prize, focus, and, you know, believe in God, and believing is, is such a, you know, such a wonderful word, believing is something that we must all, we must all do believe in ourselves, you know. Um, there's a lot of people that don't have out there, you know, a lot of people, egos, uh, that, you know, right now they don't have to eat, you know, the COVID mash them up. Um, you know, you know, there's a lot of mothers harm themselves, you know, kill kill themselves when coming to that they can provide for their for the children, you know, and you know, these things bother bother me. You know, it bother me for the last three years where I go open up the phone and I'll see three, four moms. You know, kill yourself and leave back the children and I know what it is to, to have a mother that loves me. I know what it is to have a mother that was there for me. I know what it is to have a mother that really care, make sure I have my education and I'm in my college. She makes sure I have the best, make sure my father, make sure General Stephen and Lucas, make sure I have the best, you know. So when I talk, I don't talk from, just talk, I talk from my heart. I talk from a, from a very passionate place because at the end of the day, you know, on, on my mother last breath, and she was dying, she was dying with cancer, she was, she was saying, you know, John, you know, I did not, she, she's not ready to die. And she didn't, she, she, she told me that, you know, um, John, you know, this is our last, you know, this was our last, you know, and we, we had to stick that, that, that morphine, you know, and the doctor said, yo, if, you, if we stick that last morphine, she's going to die. The heart was two weeks, so she said, she, she's a son, I just want to tell you something, I see you to be a...
she seemed to be a success. She said, she said that. Uh, sorry, yeah. she, she said that she's going to meet where the star is supposed to be. So, this is very deep for me. You know? And to be honorable, come up with that, sister. I just want to thank you. Thank you for making a mother dream come true. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not a cry. But that is a, it's a real passionate thing for me to serve. You know, I try to see how best we can help people because at the end of the day, that's what she teach me, you know. She always was a woman that, you know, care. She always was a woman that would go out there and um, try to help people. Sometimes I can remember, I can remember, you know, this time I had a big on the road and, you know, she brought the big into the house, you know, I mean, and she paid him up and she, you know, she always wanted the best for, for anybody, you know. I didn't have a class. I didn't have a, I didn't have lower class, I didn't have middle class, I didn't have upper class, I didn't have no class with my name, you know? So, at the end of the day, when I come to Trinidad and Tobago, I would just like to say, you know, out there that, you know, you know, there's no, there's, there's not like racism. They, you know, she teaches me what is love. She teaches me even more than that, she teaches me what is unconditional love. You know, and she says, you know, John, at the end, this is what I wanted to show the people, this is what I wanted to, you know, I wanted to lead by example, you know. And my example was my mom, my example was my dad, my example was the family, my example was Charlie's back pudding, my example was Simon at home, my example was Walter at home, strong figures of San Fernando. Charlie's back pudding is a hundred years, so all I know about is working hard, all I know about is, uh, about is just focusing. Focusing, focusing, 99, 99, 99. My grandmother will always tell me, mind your business, John Michael. Mind your business. And right now, Trinidad and Tobago is my business. Even if I have to start from one community from today, I would love everybody to know that we have to, we have to start for something or else, you know, everything will just go down the drain. So, Sorry about getting so emotional, eh? because I, I just couldn't help it because this is a real serious time for me in my life and this is a stepping stone towards greatness, which I always, I am on because at the end of the day, I am a representation of my family, I am a representation of my mother, I am a representation of my father, being an Ali Bukas, and for being the first Ali Bukas to to come into the realms of politics. We didn't win this seat yet, but I just say it, um, to me, this is an accomplishment just reaching from not being somebody there to serve the country to being a candidate of Trinidad and Tobago UNC. Right? So, John Michael Alibokas on the floor, Marvella West, you know, I want you to come out and vote, you know, because. Um, Right now, 2023 is all about being real, and I've been real, you know. I want you to come out and vote Sasha Ali, you know, you know, positivity, you know, a strong female woman standing up against you know, all these men in San Fernando, and, you know, Sasha Ali, you know, she's, 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 she's adorable, which is fantastic, uh, and I just want us to make the right choice, because Trinidad and Tobago right now is suffering. You know, and, and a lot of youths are suffering, a lot of single mothers is out there. We need to fix these situations, we need to fix these problems. These are serious problems that are going on because at the end of the day, there's a lot of children that is outside there that does not, does not have a home right now, that does not know where the next meal is coming from. And then on top of that, there's a lot of single mothers that have children, four or five children in a home, and they, they don't even know what to do, they give up. And then now you have children now that want to represent being a father figure because the fathers is not in home homes and this is where crime has been going around for because there's there, there's no proper um father figures in the home and then what about the fathers that the mothers leave the children you know so there's a lot of issues that we could deal with and there's a lot of issues that we want to deal with when we reach into council you know once god give us that that blessing 
But at the end of the day, we need to focus. We need to focus on TNT. We need to focus on the youth of tomorrow. We need to pull down crime. We just need a lot right now, Chair Anthony. Right? The candidate John Michael Adibokas vote August 14th, UNC. Boys and boys, right? Yeah. Um, so people, uh, that was the opening of the San Fernando Marabella West office, and we'll be crossing over to the Santa Flora meeting with Chanel Roberts at this time. Stay tuned. House of the Rising oh, Sun. Yeah. On the road to victory, yeah. Come on! On the road to victory, you gotta stand your ground. You and see. Don't back down. On the road to victory, standing strong and we ain't backing down. Yeah. On the fed up of the school, let's dictate we're running the island. Oh, yeah. This man come to mash up the country, now the people have to push back. push back. So it's time for us to stand firm and show them we ain't taking, taking that. that. So stand your ground. And if you're fed up of the crime, stand your ground. The food price is too high, stand your ground. And every two months pass, stand your ground. Don't only raise in the gas, stand your ground. All across the nation, stand your ground. It's only home invasion, stand your ground. Grow the light been raised, stand your ground. And only guns in the place, stand your ground. So we don't have down, stand your ground. So we don't have down. everyone can I ask you all to please stand as we play the national anthem please to everyone. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God and Father in heaven, we come before you this evening and we recognize you, O Lord, as the creator of heaven and earth and the sea and all that exists within them. You are the one who is responsible for our existence upon the face of this earth. And in times past, we have witnessed that you always uh, stand firm with regards to those who are honest and those who are dishonest. And we have seen in the three dispensations that have passed, all those who have been dishonest, you have taken down from positions to which you have placed them. And so we are in this Christian era, gospel age that, that we are in at this present time. And we are seeing a lot of political parties have been formed in our country. Some have good intentions and some have bad intentions. Some are seeking their own personal gain. And some are seeking to be honest and serve the people fairly and honestly, 
We have one young woman tonight who is seeking to serve the people of this community. And so we are calling upon you, O Lord, to guide her and grant her the wisdom and grant her the understanding and grant her the knowledge not only of this country but the knowledge of you that she will come to understand that you are the God who stand for justice who stand for wisdom, honesty and integrity we say a prayer for her tonight Lord Father that you will place her feet on solid ground and that she may be able O Lord to let her light shine not only, O oh Lord, to seek her own personal agenda, but to serve the people fairly and honestly. So we ask you, O oh Lord, to allow her to walk the, the road, O oh Father, of victory with your Holy Spirit. To keep her from harm, from danger, and help her to be successful, that she may serve the people the way you want her to, O oh Father. We ask you to guard her, O oh Lord, with your holy guardian angels and grant her, O oh Lord, that fresh anointing that she may be successful. And all the other candidates that are with her, we pray that they also will be successful. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Rez. A pleasant good night to the people of Jacob's Settlement. Let me say good night to our political leader, Mrs. Kamala Posad Misesa, members of our executive. Members of the United National Congress, candidates, and those of the listening public, welcome to Erin. So you all can have your seats. I, I don't know why you are standing like that. I don't know. So tonight we have a, a, a lineup of speakers here tonight for you, and our intention tonight is to bring you accurate and proper information, so that you, the people of Jacob Settlement, and anyone that's hearing our voice, can then determine which is the best way forward. Now, it's important that we understand that our intention tonight, we are bringing to you one of your own. In the past, this Labre constituency has been one that nobody pays too much attention to. But we have decided we're going to pay attention to the Labre constituency. Hence the reason why Mr. Victor Roberts has been doing so much of work in this constituency. Now, what you're going to hear tonight is the reality of what is happening in the country, but even more so at the Superior Borough Corporation, as we are now known as. So without further ado, let me introduce to you the Chairman of the Superior Regional Corporation, Borough Corporation actually, Mayor Dennis Sankasing, who will enlighten you with a bit of what the issues are we'll be having at the borough over the last three years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Winning candidate for the area, Ms. Thomas. My other candidate here joining us this afternoon. Nicole Sylvester, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Jacob Settlement, I am proud to be here this afternoon. It is my old stomping ground. We used to be here in the early days, championing the rights of the people and fighting on your behalf. The United National Congress is the only cohesive party that has been representing all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Whether you are in opposition or in government, whether you be for us or for against us, the United National Congress has been fighting on your behalf. Our distinguished political leader, Mrs. Kambla Pasad Bisesa is a woman who has dedicated her life to serving you, serving you, and serving you. Yes. Representing your interests, fighting on your behalf, going to the parliament, taking your fight to the government. We must show appreciation for that. 
she has selected she has selected the best representative for you i cannot i cannot go forward tonight before i recognize my good friend and as i like to refer to him as my long time partner you know he's a partner victor roberts and i go way 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 back we have been battling the vindictive and nasty pnm for all their injustices for years victor roberts has been leading the challenge in this area locally and nationally victor roberts is a champion of the people for the people and by the people remember victor roberts is the father of our candidate clarice roberts remember victor would have instilled in her all the qualities that will make her the great representative that she will be educated at the palace Echo government school acquiring tertiary education well associated with the local issues and the problems that impacted you sad to say this area has been represented by a failed party had a failed representative a failed pnm we need we need to bring about the change the positive change in young miss thomas we need to bring about the change miss roberts my apologies we need to bring about the change that will improve the quality of your life for the lives of your children and your grandchildren local government is not only about clean drains cut grass removing the stray animals local government is about proper representation ensuring that your interests are properly served at all times local government is ensuring that we build a better future for ourselves and for our children local government is to make sure that the very scarce resources of the state are properly utilized in the interest of the people for the people and by the people friends i want you to roll back a little bit with me and think about that period of time when we had a government that was led by mrs kamla pasad bisessa i want you to remember how good life was then mrs bisessa and the united national congress ensured that the resources of the state were made available to you remember the christmas hampers the cut in food prices the improved efficiency of the police service the improved efficiency of all the state resources all the ministries the accountability of our representative to the people remember those good old days mrs pasad bisessa made her herself available to you i did not say it sent hands in the, in the prime minister's residence and hide away when there was flooding on the street who was there with you mrs kamla prasad bisessa when people through vicious crimes when individuals were victims of vicious crime perpetrated by members of the pnm she was there to fight for you and she continues to fight for you it is with admiration i stand here as chairman of the saparia regional corporation or as we now refer to as the chairman said the saparia borough corporation and i want to highlight something to you change names change of status from regional corporation to borough corporation will cost us approximately about two million dollars just to do the name change on vehicles street signs office signs i have been asking the minister of local government and the prime minister what are the attendant benefits to change to the name borough status without the attendant benefits to the people of the area 
Tell me, identify the benefits. Is it about just changing the name and giving somebody a, a job, $2 million, to change the name? How does that impact on you? Your drains need clearing. Your bush needs cutting. Your rubbish needs picking up. As it is now, I am struggling because our garbage collectors are being underpaid and underfunded. But yet, I cannot have my citizens, the residents of the area, suffering with buildup of garbage, leading to diseases, leading to a number of other problems. We have to serve the people in the best way we can. We will serve the people by providing proper representation. A young lady who can advocate on your behalf, who can represent your interests, who can ensure at the end of the day the basic job is done in a fair and equitable manner. A young lady who once elected will not see party affiliation, but will see service to the people as a primary mandate. A young lady, well-spoken, very eloquent, very distinguished in the way she carries herself. A young lady who will set the tone for the future leaders. Somebody will take us into the future on a safe path for development. So I stand here to you tonight, reminiscing about the several times we have been here. But this time, we're going to take it home and we're going to make Ms. Roberts a victorious candidate. So friends, I want to ask you, I demand of you, I appeal to you, come August 14th, put your X next to the rising sun and vote solidly for Ms. Roberts making her your winning candidate, sending her to the Sibaria Borough Corporation as your representative to represent the people, to serve the people, to serve the people, and to serve the people. I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chairman. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to put in a little, a little plug here and say something to you, the people of this community. Because when I, every, time I, every time I come down here, I had to ask the question, eh? what have you gotten over the last eight years, 10 years, 15 years? What have you gotten well, then what do you have to lose? Now, we listen to the People's National Movement and their, their motto in this local election is the right choice reform. And that's very interesting, eh? Because I want to cut that into other pieces for you. In 2019, I campaigned on reform. You remember that? In 2020, the, the, the general election, I campaigned on the right choice. So 2020 should have combined the both of them, the right choice reform. But I'm going to tell us something right now. Well, they might not believe this. Do you know that the reform has passed through both houses of parliament already? Yet absolutely nothing stopping the PNM from proclaiming it. And I want to be clear on this point. The United National Congress has never opposed reform. What we have opposed is the property tax that they have attached to the reform that is going to bring a bigger burden on you. That is the point that we, 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 are, we oppose. We never oppose reform. So for them to go around and tell you if they don't win, they ain't going to bring the reform, that is hogwash. They can proclaim that in the morning if they show desire. There's a clause in, the, in, in that, that reform that says it takes effect 
as soon as the president proclaims it. So there's nothing stopping them. They're just locking back to try to bamboozle their head again. With this foolish stuff about the UNC won't reform and the UNC do not, not for the reform. That is BS. As they normally do, they will come in these communities and give all their set of foolishness in the hope that you all really have the common sense to understand. But I know all along here smarter than that. And anyone only here can go and Google that and they'll find out, you know. But what they wouldn't tell you is this. The Superior Regional Borough Corporation, sorry, I saw a custom to the regional, is 495 kilometers square in size. I want to listen carefully, you know. We get $79 million to run the corporation and to do projects. So like salaries, everything. Port of Spain is 12 kilometers square. The allocation is about $200 million. Are you listening to me? You know? Are you go and check it out. Know? Because it's fact and fiction. Point 14, which is 23.88 kilometers square in size. The allocation is just one million dollars less than ours. So you're talking about a corporation that is Port of Spain could fit into supply about forty something times. My district will be going to Port of Spain. So that's the level of inequity that we are seeing in this country. And that's what the UNC will talk about. That's what we're trying to, to, to inform you all about. And that's the reality. Eh? Oh, look at go and Google it. The reckon line. Go online and Google it and you will see it for yourself. So there's no way in God's earth that either Port of Spain or Point Fortin could have the same amount of roads, same amount of drain, same amount of people as Zaparia. That's impossible. But we still make it happen. We make it happen because the UNC are good management. I understand this community has been paving somewhere to the back there recently. But it's interesting how they could pave all of a sudden. It's so interesting <laughs> that only election time these paving machines come out. Are you all going to still fall for this, this, this foolishness? Seriously? When the UNC is talking about security for your family, your community, your children. Those are the issues that we are campaigning on. Not no reform and right choice. We are campaigning on issues that affect you on a daily basis. And so, and the two candidates we have here for Arena Pass. Okay, we'll talk about things that they have seen in their walkabouts and whatnot. So you'll get an idea what, what the reality which, which you all know already. But the appeal to you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is to search into your heart and really figure out if what is happening presently is beneficial, maybe not to you, you know, but is it going to be beneficial to your children? Is it going to be beneficial to your children, children? That is the choice you're going to make in this local election. And as the chairman said, oh, don't take local elections about clean drain only. Eh? We touch you first thing in the morning and last thing at night. We do more for you than any member of parliament could do. Because I show up, if anyone will let go by the member of parliament, the first thing they tell you, 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 you talk to the councillor. So we are important. So to sit up in your house and say you ain't going out for because it's local election is the next set of BS. And we have to stop people of this community, stop this Indian and Creole foolishness. Because after the, on the 15th of August, you know what happened? You're going by the same Indian neighbor you have extra today to ask if she has roti or if she has some sugar. And she coming by you for the same thing. Yeah, and she coming by you for Hannah Fig or you living normal, normal after that. Why we had to fight this now? Why are we letting these politicians well we up and the, them Indian come to this and them No! Think about your future, your children's future, the country at heart. That's what this is about. So when we finish tonight, a little bit, think about those words. Our next speaker is our vibrant, young, energetic candidate, 
for electoral district of Palo Seco. And from all reports, it seems as though she will bring that, that seat home. So when we have Palo Seco and we get airing, you will have a corporation that is properly managed by good representation. I present to you Miss Nicola Sylvester. become disillusioned yes indeed we have become disillusioned and there's no surprise to see why there's a high crime rate continuous road damages the increase in unemployment the neglect of our community poor drainage and the list goes on and on and on in april of this year as many of you are aware we were subject to some of the most intense rainfall in the last decade. And with the rainfall came intense flooding. My brothers and sisters, I have seen and I have spoken to some of the individuals that were affected by this flooding. And it's so sad to hear the same thing that the representation was not there. Now, there were businesses that were damaged and they lost a lot of goods. The floodwaters entered many homes and caused damages to furniture and appliances. Do you know what it is to wake up one morning? This is for the people I lost my home. To wake up one morning and to see that the plants that it takes so, so much time to nurture and become so nice to make a yard look so good floating away down on the stretch. You know what that feels like for the last more people? Because why? Why? Because the drainage system was backed up. Zero clarity as to why. There are barely any proper drains in the first place. Can we accept that anymore? No. Can we accept? No. Can we accept that? No. And hear this interesting one. For months now, two excavators pack up at the Palo Seco Secondary School and they come and they, the mama guy the, the community doing nothing, but we accept that. We accept that. Why? Because probably, I don't know, because that's what we feel is the right thing to do. No, we don't want that. We want work. The excavators down there work. Yes? Yes. My brothers and sisters, Look at our roads. The roads are so damaged to the point where we can barely pass. You, my brothers and sisters, have protested for the roads to be fixed in January, and? And what happened? Nothing. <laughs> and what has our current government given to you? False promises. Where's the work? Where's the allocations? Where's the work? There's nothing but promises. You know what? Nothing but table scraps. That is what we have been receiving. And makeshift patchwork. That is what we want? No. That is what we want? No. And then when the rain fall, the same makeshift patchwork, it going down the drain. Watch at quarry. By rubber trace and skinner trace. Are we standing to accept that? No. We need change. It's, a ta it's about time we change, yes. And you, you, the community and the citizens, we should not accept that. 
my brothers and sisters, let us talk about education system now. Up until 2018, the entrance fee to, to UTT was $440, and a full gate funding was afforded to all students, no matter the level of degree. Currently, that, that, that um, price now is $600 and is set to increase in the coming years. And as for the gate funding, they only funding undergraduate level. So you're trying to tell me we we choosing who we should fund? No, we're not accepting that. No. Look at our recreation grounds. It grow to be jungles. Well, I plan on turning these recreation grounds from jungle into plain field where families can come and have a free head after a long day or a long week of work or school to ease their minds with laughter and enjoyment. And next thing, when I was small, we used to have a lot of togetherness in the community. Where have this togetherness gone? Where it gone? Well, let me tell you where it gone. It gone back in the house. It gone back in the house. Well, I plan to bring the togetherness back by involving the people of the community in planning and restructuring the community. Yeah? That is what the voters voting for, right? To feel involved. And I, as a representative, will make the community feel involved. Right? And you all want, and I will be the voice of you all and carry, carry your, your, your um, grievances towards the committee and we can address it together. Why am I telling you all this? Many of you may want to know. Because it's clear that this PNM government all of our complaints has fallen on deaf ears. It has fallen on deaf ears. And not one have they re resolved. Yeah? My brothers and sisters, let's make a statement of substance. On August 14th, vote for the UNC. Vote for the candidate of Palo Seco. Vote for the candidate of Erin. Let's vote for integrity. Let's vote for a full course. No more table scraps. No more potholes. Vote for the rising sun and let's rise upon a new day. Thank you. Nicola, pumping up the place, man. You know, let me tell you something, yeah? When I met Nicola a few weeks ago, when I met Nicola a few weeks ago, when she was just preparing to start campaigning, Nicola was a little timid, timid young lady. She, uh, yeah, but what about it? Man, she has come a long, long way. And you know why? Because she has seen the neglect, and it is hurting her. That is why she gets so brave and boisterous. So, Again, I want to come back and make a little point earlier. Like I said, I'm going to Google this. Hello. Anybody going to go and Google this? So I mentioned it's $79 million that the corporations allocated. Let me emphasize on that word. Allocated. You know, every month we had to beg for a little couture. A little dacha. We want 20000 We want 40000 We want to do this. And if they feel like it, they go say, I don't want forty. look 10 we have a fleet of about 69 vehicles and maybe about 10 of them working. Because the money we are allocated to repair these vehicles, one is not sufficient, and two, we still paying some of last year, last financial year bills. So we can't catch up at all. So everything pack up there and just, you know, when they pack, when they pack up vehicles, it's just going to get worse and worse. But apart from that, we are in July, almost the end of July. The financial ends in September. And up to now, we haven't got money to do recreation grounds, cemeteries, tourism. That money ain't come yet. And the year, the financial year coming to end. I get another nice little story. Last year, the financial year, just before the end, I think it would have been the end of August, chairman, if I'm not mistaken. Boom, they said, hey, look at the money. Spend it before September, don't it? 
So we had to scamp around now and try to get these projects off the ground, do what we had to do to, to spend all this money before September. <coughs> and they come and tell about unspent balances. So they're trying to create an unspent balances account to know. Because by the time they give it in September and you can't get a spend it, they're going to unspend balance. And then they come and say, you see, they have spent all the money. And we apply since the beginning of the year for the money, you know. October, September, yeah, October, we apply, we said, hey, this is what we want to do. This is how we're going to spend the money. So October coming again and we ain't get our money. Who to blame? Nicola spoke to you about the things that she has seen in this community and the flooding. I am, um, over the last couple of years, I've been the chairman of disaster management for the last, I think about six years, chairman, since the previous chairman, yeah. And it is amazing to see the kind of flood happen in this community, which I knew never used to happen before. But you know what? You know when this start happening? You say, Robert, you know when this flood start happening? 2018. What happened 2018 after that, that trigger all the memory? Anything? The closure of petrol train or the restructuring of petrol train. Because those same water courses, petrol train used to do the maintenance because they have pipelines or infrastructure nearby so they make sure that it's secure. And nobody realized that. <laughs> nobody realized that. They started about the corporation, corporation that. But we don't see more major water courses. We don't have equipment for that. We don't have funding for that. So the people who do have funding don't do the work and we get blamed for it. But the, at the end of the day, it comes down to you, the people, who you want to represent you and the type of representation you want. Because Nicola talk about bringing the community together and consultation. And that's, that's what it's supposed to be about. Eh? That's how this thing's supposed to work. So if you all really want to be involved in the things that happen in your community, Nicola has given you the option. Vote for Nicola Sylvester, Chanel Roberts. Because that is their intention. So we have a little bit of entertainment for you all. I know this gentleman singing um, right now a while back in Sobo there. So let me put on Mr. Key Palo. Yeah. Man with all the love. Pleasant good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Santa Flora. Jacob Settlement. I'm moving the mic a little bit closer, I tell you. In the light. So, they say the new color of love is yellow. Who believe that? Somebody say, yeah, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> I want to do two selections for you guys. Am I permitted? Yes. Two one time, right? So, um, the DJ could bring the first song. Again, the new color of love is yellow. All right. DJ, let me go with this one. No one shot the eye created soca music. Was for the unification of the Indian and the African people in Trinidad and Tobago, right? So, this is my love. Chop the soca machine up the fair. Tonight I shall to break a sweat. Shut me so can my shame up the place. Them young girl come to shake the race. All night they whining. It's this line rolling. It's Kunga Ghana. Mr. Bissasa. I just want to take a taste. Cause I love Chuck me so can. Yes, I love chop the soca. There's music from Africa and India. Come back to make chop the soca. Put your hand in the air and say, Lord, I love chop the soca. Yes, I love chop the soca. Oh, yeah. 
Let's get love and take a sing along, right? <laughs> hey. Let's go. We do like beating shirt and make it dance. Have you jumping out your pants? The pass are rolling and it's sounding sweet. The party jumping to the beat. All night they whining. It's waistline rolling. It's Punga Ghana. Mr. B. Sesson. I just want to take a taste. Cause I love Chuck B. Soka. Yes, I love Chuck B. Soka. There's music from Africa and India. Come down to me, Chuck B. Soka. Put your hand in the air and say, Lord, I Wanna sing it? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Take a wind down. Take a grind down. Oh, yeah. Santa Flora. Somebody make some noise. The party and the music suit for soul. The people shouting, keep a All over town they want to know Is this the mix in the people? All night they whining Is this line rolling? Is Kunga Ghana? Mr. B. Sessa I just want to take a tip Cause I love Chuck B. Soka Yes, I love Chuck B. Soka. This music from Africa and India. Come back to me, Chuck B. Soka. Put your hand in the air and say, Lord, I love Chuck B. Soka. Only sing it Yes, I love Oh, gosh. This music from Africa and India. Come back to me, Chuck B. Soka. Put your hand in the air and say, Lord, I love Chuck B. Soka. Mere Pia Chuck B. Soka. Oh, I love Chuck B. Soka. Oh, let's sing it. Woo! Oh, gosh. Thank you. Now the same. It's July and it says Parang in July. So I just want to do this one here. It's an adaptation. So let me do the next one, DJ, one time. Yeah. All right. They say Parang in July. Get them. Hey. Oh, yeah. A one man Parang. That is how they best go. When you see me dress up just like a music truck, looking for action, they ask no foolish question. If you want to join me up, I can stop no more. My me back pocket. Talk, talk, I can't forget it. Hang across my shoulder and run the room. I go on the argument. Tooting my own instrument The banjo, the guitar, the marak and violin So let me see From Sangri Grand, the only way to see just Paran in night and day I'm looking for good players and chorus Paran in night and day In Arima Separia Rancho Quemado Mucho, mucho, mucho Paran de Ro Rio Rio, Santa Flora, the Separang in July. Roy, hey, kid, Caminante, the traveling Parang people from August to Lewa is only by La Bayou, roaming all over to find a good Parang partner. 
Amaluko holi lika Levanta holi Apasi mayuro We best play a mungwacho And I know that he wife could sing Carlos go play the banjo We best bust up string for soul So I make sure the high extra banjo and guitar string So let me sing from San Grande all the way to see just Parani night and day. I'm looking for good players and chorus. Parani night and day. Up oh, our men. Luizzi Rizanerin. Palo Seco. Mucho, mucho, mucho parandero. Oy, oy. Let me go. Oh, gosh. Oy. Hey. Somebody say keep Paolo on the outside. Hey. Get them. Baila, baila, baila. Hey. <laughs> Let me go. Hey. Come on. Everybody. Oy. Get them. Niceness. Yes. When you see me, bring coffee by the gallon. It's two trees and I'm gone. Can't stay one place too long. If you like we come and join in the party. Grab an instrument and play on. Yes, we strong way. We got some parent players. I know them is well full as singing anything once it has a hook. But it has all by the just song. Starting with the annunciation. Castilian Warapo and the Agunado. So let it go. From San Grande all the way to Sidras, Parani night and day. I'm looking for good players and chorus. Parani night and day in Arima, Separia, Palo Seco, Mucho, 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 Parandero. Way, oy, way, oy, way. Nice, somebody make some noise. Oy. Hey. Nice. Inarima. Separia. Rancho Quemaro. Don Palo Seco. That's where I'm from. I am the man they call Key Palo. Right from Palo Seco. Somebody say, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Inarima. Kiki Palo! Yeah, yeah I, I was almost tempted to pull a tune here, but then Victor tell me, well, the weather here, it's going good so far, so don't interfere with that. Thank you very much, brother. Yellow is the color of love. Yes, sir. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring a young lady now. Because I, since I came down here, I saw a lot of things I want to talk to her about, but you know why I ain't saying about it? I want to hear what she has to say. She will be, without a doubt, your next local government representative. Uh, all you want to know who it is, son? I, I call her no sub my lord. She has been well trained by her parents. A very articulate, bright, and hardworking young lady who I know will most certainly give you proper representation. Jacob Settlement and Environs, Miss Chanel Roberts.
can think of a million reasons life can change. A million reasons why someone would go insane. Mother, tell your children to keep a smile on their faces as they journey along life's way. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson, the Honorable Political Leader, Mrs. Kamla Pusad Bisesa, members of NATEX, specially invited guests, Chairman of the Superior Borough Corporation, Mr. Dinesh Sankasing, um, Chairman of the Library Constituency, and my campaign manager, Mr. Victor Roberts. Incumbent Councillor, Mr. Derek Bowen. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Chanel Roberts, and I am the UNC candidate and the next councillor for the District of Erin. My mission this evening is to bring awareness, to bring justice, to bring it togetherness, and to bring representation that you, the people, have never witnessed in this district. I was born and raised in this district for the past 23 years, and my message to you is one of hope. And not just hope, but a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow for you, a better tomorrow for your children, your grandchildren, the elderly, the not so elderly, the retirees, a better tomorrow for the young people, a better tomorrow for all of us in a nutshell. I have been through this district and I have been asked this question a million times. What do I plan to do if elected as councillor? Let me say this before I start. This is not the side of promises never materialize. This is the side of action beat all talk. I am proposing to bring to Jacob Settlement a play park where young couples Elderly couples and the not so elderly couples will be able to come and take their afternoon swing to chat, where the children in the village will be able to have their recreation on a Sunday afternoon. I am going to refurbish this court, which do not have any lights, by the way, and it will have regular activities, a round the clock football league where you will be able to benefit with cash prizes. We can have a small goal competition running communities versus communities, win ball cricket competition for both men and women. I am proposing to secure sponsors and to do what is necessary from the local government standpoint to build our community and have our community safe. I will be the sponsor for the Jacob Settlement football team. I will be the sponsor for the Jacob Settlement cricket team. This village will be a part of knitting back togetherness throughout the district of Erin. Under the new borough arrangement, I am going to ensure that amongst you, the young people in Jacob Settlement, and all my electorates in my district, that all of you will be a part of that structure. We cannot stop the rain from falling, but we can clean the river courses to minimize the flooding. We can construct box drains to have a fast overflow of the buildup of water in our district. And I want to assure you, once elected, you the people will build the same box drain that will be coming to our community. When rain fall, the people on A Street will not have to be guessing and hoping. I have been assisting people throughout the length and breadth of the air industry in danger as relates to flooding. We have allowed ourselves to be papi showed, making mockery of by this administration for too long. 
Just imagine 10 long years we were pleading and begging and telling them our problems that caused severe flooding and because of a lack of maintenance of the river courses today, because our election is on the 14th, they sent two excavators by the Palo Seco Secondary School, have it back up and telling us that they are going to clean the river courses. This is the kind of mockery and poppy show that they and disrespect that the PNM continue to use every election and have us believe that they care. And as election finish, for the next five years, we are continued begging and pleading, heavy taxation, no employment, and then they come to tell you to vote for them? What I want to ask these same people who are walking around and telling you to vote for them, I want you to ask them, where were you all the time? Yeah. Where were you when you could not provide for your food for your children? Where were they when our straight schools were being closed down? Where were they when we were struggling to make ends meet? Where were they when the Prime Minister was closing down Petro train? Where were they? Today, my uncle, somewhere in the crowd here, an ex Petro train worker, he's still afraid to open his fridge because you remember that the Prime Minister said the government, if it was closing the fridge door, that the government of Trinidad and Tobago is not closing Petro train. He's still afraid to open the fridge door. They shut it down. They shut it down. They shut down I want you to ask them when they are crawling out from every nook and cranny to tell you to vote for the PNM. I want to tell them that everybody who comes to your door and tell you vote for the PNM, they is your enemy. They are an enemy of democracy. Enemy of Let me. Let me say that again. Everybody who comes to your door and tell you vote for the PNM, they are your enemy. They want nothing good for you. They want nothing good for your children. They want the lights to remain off on the court. They want us to continue being unemployed. They want us to pay property tax and high utility rates. They want you to not be able to afford to buy books for your children in September. Youths, we don't have time to take bait with the petty politics and erase baits when we are being left behind for wolves in society. And if we don't act now, some will unfortunately end up in jail or in a funeral home. And that is just the reality of things. The lack of opportunities to get employment is frustrating. I too was a part of that system that is failing us the youths. And I have decided to take a stand and be an ambassador to champion this fight. So join me. We will no longer take the excuses that the youths don't want it. We will take it. Together we will take back our communities. We will take back our sporting activities. We will demand back our job opportunities. Young people, listen to me. It is a golden saying that charity begins at home and ends abroad. So my commitment to you tonight is to make sure that I take care of you, the people in Jacob Settlement, and then extend my hands abroad. So Jacob Settlement, have no fear. I am here. Santa Flora, have no fear. I am here. Los Bajo, Bennett Village, Palo Seco, Rancho Camaro, Erin, Benoziris. Salazar Trace, Lot 10, have no fear, I am here. They, they should have only been able to fool you all for three years, but we have allowed them to fool us for 56 years. But you have the opportunity now to change that pattern. Send a different message. So tonight, I want to tell you that I have seen your condition. I have heard your cries. And I'm saying to you that better days are coming. A better tomorrow is here. I am saying to you tonight, as I give my commitment that you, the people of the District of Erin, is going to benefit under the stewardship of Chanel Roberts. As I intend to bring relief 
and to ensure that you are satisfied with the level of representation. So come one, come all, come out on the 14th of August. Come out resoundingly and place your ex by Sheila Roberts on behalf of the United National Congress. The flood will be over and the sun will shine again. Look forward to the sunshine. Look forward to the light where you will benefit and prosperity will come to your family. Look forward to a better tomorrow on August the 14th. I thank you. God bless and good night. You know, I'm feeling real bad. You know, she didn't have a team song on me in her none. I don't work on that with me and the DJ go talk about that next time I have one of these meetings. Chanel, fantastic presentation. People of Jacob Settlement. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's start a band down here, boy. All right, all right. So, as I said before, before I introduced Chanel, I wanted to hear some of the things that the candidates would say before I speak. Because one of the first things that struck me when I came down here was no lights in this place. I don't know what's the reason for it, but, you know, it, it, it was very interesting. And this is a beautiful facility in a beautiful community that, you can sit in your porch and your kids can be out here playing and uh, you're pretty secure. So uh, I don't know. Uh, that, that's an interesting one to come across. But let me tell you something. Chanel's idea and even Nicola, they are pretty similar in the fact that they are talking about bringing communities together. And that is what we need to do. Not only in Palo Seco, Irene, but right to Trinidad and Tobago. And every time I come on here, I make this statement, and some people just get vexed about, you know, the truth, of, the truth offends sometimes. The supporters of the United National Congress that live in this community need to stop expecting somebody to vote for them and come out and vote for yourself. Because you sit down in your homes and assume you can't be, we can't win, them is win all the time. Well, they must win all the time if you don't come in to vote. And then, the next five years, you're complaining from silent to baron, pressure. But you know, when you have the opportunity to make a difference, you're too busy. You have to make roti. You're going and tell the goat. All the excuses in the world you find not to go and do your civic duty. But you know what? I have seen the People's National Movement supporters crawl into the polls. Crawl, literally crawl. Because they know that their vote is important. So our supporters need to understand that their vote is just as important. And there's nothing like impossible. So the village Olympics that Chanel spoke about, you need to vote for her so that she can make that happen for you. The plans that she spoke about, you need to vote for her so she can make that happen. And when she can't, when she not making it happen, she's not representing you, you could call on me or tell she father and she. Because anybody, everybody don't, don't hear no Victor, Victor don't play. Anybody that's kiss, that, that not doing right, Victor, coming up on you. So, you're in good hands. And you have absolutely nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. Because you have got nothing before. I know for a fact that this, this Jacob community was heavily involved in the petrochemical oil industry back in the day. 
So I can imagine how many of you all are home now. Some of you are struggling to pay a mortgage or to send your kids to university. You going to take that still? How many of you have lost everything in your homes because of flooding and gotten nothing but promises and a letter saying go to self-help and they run you around for about three years you get fed up you just stop going and you just die a natural death how many of you have experienced that i'm sure you all experienced that i have been in the corporation for the last nine years and i have seen in the last three years People with degree coming for attendance to clean a drain. You imagine that you spend thousands of dollars and sacrifice to send your child to university to get proper education and they're going to look for attendance. Is that what you wanted for your children? Is that what you that, was that your plan? When you sacrifice to send them to school and get our education. So the brightest drain cleaners in the world is in Trinidad right now. But that's the reality of it, you know. That is fact. That's plain and simple. You can see that you see that every day in this community and throughout this country. But again, we come back to this again. They are going to come to you and promise you the world. They might even give you two hundred dollars. I don't know. But that thing will last you. What they say, as long as the red house fires, they are saying something like that. Now you'll see a lot of butter in the sun. Because as soon as they go out the door, that money done. So, Palo Seco, Irene, and all of you are hearing my voice. Do what is right. Stop allowing these people to play games with you. And they were not going to busy between two excavators and a paving machine and the plane, they patching everything that they could see. So that couldn't patch through the last three years? Them holes up here overnight? What's the water situation along here? Except the flooding, of course. How do you get pipe bone water along here? You know, there are places I know. <laughs> you see that follow me and you go follow. I no of I, I can't remember the name of the place, but somewhere in the world, these communities in the um, Palo Seco area. They ain't getting water. You know what the councillor told them? They don't vote for PNM, so they ain't the SCN send no water for them. You just imagine that from a representative. So is it that when, I, when they vote for Chanel, she could she must only do things for UNC? People? That's not the way this thing had to work. When you are elected, you are elected to serve all the people. And that is, a, that is the, 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 the Bible that my political leader has been preaching ever since I came. That's what brought me to this party, you know. Serve the people, serve the people, serve all the people. And that is what you, you should demand that. There is no favor to you. Because your little tax money is what going to be paying Chanel just now, small as it is. You all make money go pay your phone bill. So if she answers your phone, you know what to do with she. Same thing with Nicola. Another pay your only phone bill too, you know. Yeah? And I show none only have your only phone number. You understand? So how much longer are you going to keep taking this? I mean, let me be real. Huh? But they, they were saying I'm um, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. That is a symptom of madness. Well, I'd be mad if I feel that, all right, yeah, go again now. We're going to try it again. And 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 nothing happened, and you're still doing it. Give these two beautiful, bright, intelligent young ladies an opportunity to represent you. And they will be working for you. You hire them, you know. This is the biggest job interview in the world. You are the ones that are going to hire her, hire them. So it's up to you to make sure that they give you what you deserve. And like I say, if, they have, if she there, doing it, talk to their father. He goes down their worries. Our next speaker is no stranger to this community. 
And over the last couple of years, he has become no stranger to Trinidad and Tobago. A voice that has been clamoring for justice, for equality, and proper governance. A gentleman who you all hear after a vote for PNM in 2020 run by Hifa Hamper. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I, I know that. Same gentleman. Well, they didn't want to give him an opportunity to represent the proper by the house after the general election. And Mr. Roberts, I can get a hamper, please. You have anything to give me? Same people, you know. And he gone again, he dig in the pocket, and he gone again. If he was a bad mind kind of person, you know, I've told you. I'll follow the stuff to that. But nonetheless, I give you your chairman of the Labre UNC constituency, Mr. Victor Roberts. leader, members of the executive, chairman of the super regional or chairman of the borough corporation, I come like Derek, I get accustomed with regional, all going councillors, our distinguished, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good night. Tonight, I want to speak to you firstly about what is a slave. When you look at the definition of a slave, ladies and gentlemen, and we look back in history, we would understand that a slave is someone who was owned by a master we also understand that a slave is one who would be forced to labor but the worst type of slave that is existing in our hemisphere ladies and gentlemen it is the individual who make themselves a slave to the PNM we have experience in this country that men and women, boys and girls, they have made themselves slaves to the people's national movement. They have made themselves slaves over the years that even though they receive no type of representation 
from the people that the PNM put in place to represent them with evil out their choices. Yet they make themselves slaves to obey their master and to put in place those who they have put to represent you. We have seen in this constituency of Labre, where from the days of Ion Antony to the days of Stephen Casper Makashe, that you, the people of this community, you, the people of this constituency, you have taken a position and going out to the polls and voting for poor or no representation and you are quite comfortable and satisfied with the standard of living that you know exists in today. You the people of this country, the people of the constituency and the district of Palosico and Erin, you have contributed tremendously you have contributed tremendously to the downfall of this society. And when some of you who reach the age of maturity, you still have the audacity to speak against the youth by saying that the youth doesn't want anything in society. When you, when you the elderly, have not contributed and paved the way for the young people to benefit what you had benefited from. Because you are so enshrined in race that even though a candidate would appear of your ethnic background, but because they are under the umbrella of the UNC, those of you who have decided that the PNM is overdoing it, you decide that you will stay home and not vote simply because a candidate is under the umbrella of the UNC. That is the level of ignorance that exists in your minds. We have two young candidates, two candidates that comes from your bosom. Nicola hails from Lasbaho. Chanel hails from Jacob Settlement. And because of your mindset, some of you will refuse to support these two young ladies even though you have Arlene Rambio and Dana O'Neill at a time who has done absolutely nothing to enhance your ability in your community Arlene Rambio the council for Erin this making it 10 years that she is forced down your throat and first you make yourself a slave you will still go to the polls and vote for what is forced down your throat a candidate who has failed a candidate who do not understand the significance of representation a candidate that you see only on election time. A candidate who has not fulfilled the mandate that you have given to her on three occasions. But yet to the end of the day, those who make themselves slaves to the PNM, as Chanel said, they are crawling out from every crack and from under every rock because master said last week in Faisabad that you have to come out and campaign with the candidate 
or you lost your job. That is massa. When we only talk in Faisabad, you will see them now crawling by tens and twelves and coming to tell you that Ali is a good candidate. Why they were telling me in Palosico Junction that the worst thing that the PNM could do again is to put Arlene Rambo and this Anton George. Well, tonight, all gloves off, and I'm never afraid of fight yet. You people inside here know that. This Anton George, who going up against Nicola? You better understand. You better understand that Anton George born and grow in Sobo Palosico settlement. Better known as Sobo. And he left there 25 years. And the only time the people saw him to have a conversation is after Rowley put him to fight Nicola. Anton George, and he are calling the name. Anton George, you people know very well that you cannot go with five dollars short to get anything. Whether it be a roti, a sweetie, or a box of concrete nail, yeah. you better make sure that you have all your money. You have never seen Anton George and Arlene Ramdale in any flood. You have seen Nicola and Chanel. You have never seen Anton George right across the road. Where these two candidates told you of the excavators that pack up. You have never seen Anton George who lived just obliquely opposite the Palisico school. When there is flood and the school children cannot come out. You have never seen Anton George in a tall boots. You have seen Nicola and Chanel. So my point, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> my point is if you have never seen these individuals demonstrating any level of community service, have you not yet put in your brain that they are there to look after their own interests. I want you to ask Anton George if there is any arrangement where people who would be applying for grant to see about house roof and see about other stuff I want you to ask Anton George if there was a recent arrangement that any family of his own would be now supplying those roofing material as a cost to the government. <clears throat> I want you to ask him that. I want you to ask Arlene Arlene Kim and they do a piece of road in the back street. But the piece of road in the back street, what she would not tell you and what you must ask those so-called activists who crawl out only when they have a piece of cheese. You know what does crawl out when cheese exposed? I didn't say so. I never say so. But ask, do, ask those activists who just crawl out when a piece of cheese exposed. 
ask them to find out if Arlene have a family in Sarasa Trace and ask them if the roads to that family house together with box trains together with a road in Lawrence Sut and a box train tell them to find out if there was the only space needed box train now get, don't get me wrong I am not saying that Arlene family in deserve to have a good road you know I ain't saying that but what I'm saying ask Arlene and the so called activists if nowhere else needed a box train to help ease the flooding situation in the district of Erin. You see, for too long, you the people have allowed yourself to be used. For too long, you the people have allowed yourself to be abused. And it seems as though, you know, I had a friend once and while talking to that friend, I asked the friend, I said, girl, how come you just had this man beating you so? You know what she tell me? She says, love you, love me. The man just over love me. Let me tell you something. You, the PNM supporters, remind me of that girl. Because it seems as though the more rowdy beat on you, the more rowdy punish on you, is the more all you love rowdy. You know what's sad about that? I pray to God that all you could love all your children and grandchildren as well all you love rowdy. Because if, because if all you love, all your grandchildren and children, how will you love Keith Rowley? I am certain that all your grandchildren and children would have been in a better place. But you know what? Let me tell you what. <clears throat> Let me tell you what. You, the people, you are your own enemies. You know why? Because you have seen the wrong we had Petrochin right in the backyard. Everybody used to benefit. Who working casual, who working permanent, contractors, suppliers, service company, and you the boy and girl who will catch them on the crash. Only remember the crash program. Or they will catch them on the crash. And all they will enjoy yourself. The bar was selling. The roti shop was making money. Everybody was living. <laughs> Hear what all they do. All they allow the greatest liar. The greatest liar in Trinidad and Tobago is Keith Rowley. The biggest and the greatest liar. Rowley tell all you. Rowley tell earlier, I am speaking to the mothers. The government of Trinidad and Tobago is not closing down Petrochrain. Two weeks later, bye bye Petrochrain. Two weeks later, and hear what I accept. To the all you accept Rowley standing up? The neighbors and all those who are attached to the petrochemical business to make one clear statement to you first and foremost. The government is not closing down petrochemical. <laughs> and in case you were just opening your fridge and you didn't hear that when you closed the door, let me repeat it. Yeah. The government of Trinidad and Tobago is not closing down Petrochin. Two weeks later, bye bye Petrochin. 
or you let Rory stand up and Rory tell you folks that petrochin was a burden to the economy Rory tell you people that the government had to pay and bail out petrochin the Rory tell all you that the government cannot take the burden no more and all you as usual swallow what Rory continue to force down all your throat without examining all you have a device but the phone in all your hand is to mind people business and know who with who and who is not with who but if all you take that phone and google all you would have realized that in 2018 petrochin made a profit petrochin pay their royalties petrochin were able to stand on its own feet but it seems as though that what the people of this part of the country love is lies and the more you could lie to them is the more they vote for you that is what all you like here but i am saying tonight that these two young candidates they are available and they are at your disposal you are the ones who need betterment you are the one who need a better community you need your children to grow up in an environment that is safe and that is humanized and i am saying that you cannot get that under ali ramdio and you cannot get that under anton george you have you have nicola sylvester you have chanel roberts Two young, beautiful ladies. Are they fed up of them all candidate who run out of ideas? I see George going to make himself an idiot by going to clean a train on the Los Bajo stretch. It's the first time I ever see that a man going to clean a drain and start from the center. I never see that yet. I never see and the man posing up, you know. So I going down the road minding my business. I see this big red jersey with a yellow excavator. I say, what? What going on here? So I pull up. And I come out. When I come out, he's smiling. Well, you see, I'm doing a little thing. When I out with my phone and I say, Trinidad and Tobago, watch idiotism. A man going to clean a drain, but he cleaning his drain from the front pins and the mouse. That's where he cleaning his drain from. So I don't know if he now seeking to get in office and he tell himself, to get some vote, he had to go in front, Prince and them house, and clean that part of the drain. When the river is what needs cleaning, the river courses, I have shown you, year go, year come. The river course courses is what needs to be clean. And if you get the river courses under control, then the minor drains would be able to flow the water out of the villages into the river course and down to the sea we goes but with the pnm they are custom puppy showing and mama guy in you and like the more the mama guy you is the more you vote i want to tell you something about some wicked people i must tell you about them wicked people there is some wicked people in every community and in Jacob's settlement too. I'm making it clear. I doesn't care who vex because facts you're getting by me. You ain't getting who will talk. Let me tell you about the wicked people. The wicked people is people who don't have nothing and will, will encourage you to vote for nothing so that to the end of the day you will join them and have nothing that is the wicked people the wicked people is the people who will tell you how you could vote for them indian 
But every time, hold on, hold on, man, hold on. The wicked people will tell you how you could vote for them Indian. But every time they get sick, they run by the Indian doctor. The wicked people will tell you how you could vote for them Indian. But every time they have a prescription, they run by the East Indian pharmacy. The wicked people will tell you how you could vote for them Indian. But all of them going and work with the Indian contractor. That is wicked people. And the people, hold on, on men. The people who is more wicked than them is the PNM. You know why? Because Rowley tell earlier in 2015, he said the African people in this country is behind. But what Rowley did, he sent you further back. That is what he did to you when he closed down your NESC. When he stopped your book grant. When he closed down the aviation school. When he stopped the laptop program. When he stopped the, the drilling academy. When he stopped the nursing academy. A matter of fact, when he stopped your employment. You see, you must understand, ladies and gentlemen, that life is not about fiction life is about facts and you must be factual in your decision making you cannot after 56 years of BNM in this country and you cannot show me where the African man have a nice supermarket 56 years of the African rule and you cannot tell me where I can go and get a job with junior not junior Sami junior African you can tell me after 56 years and you can hardly find a big suitable establishment where the African people of this country can be recognized. You know why? Let me tell you why. Because you the people is only the voter bank for the PNM. You is not the PNM business partner. You think Olivieri and Makashe and Jeffrey and Barrow and Anthony and the whole team. You think they wanted to make you business partners they want to keep you dependent on the government when you are dependent on the government they control your voting finger so that is why they could tell all them you are people workers whether in the back street front street side street whatever street go out and find the votes otherwise your employment over that is why they could tell all the workers in the PNM office, go out and find the votes. Otherwise, you need a job if Ali lost or if George lost. Well, I want to help all you. I want to help all you URP workers. I want to help all you workers in Ali office. Come across to the two winning candidates. You will get a job. And we would not put you in URP to hustle them 10 days. We might very well send you in the corporation where your salary could be bigger. These two young ladies, as I wrap up, they has a vision for you. The vision that they have for you, ladies and gentlemen, is to help you to be self-sustaining or self-sustainable. Their vision, ladies and gentlemen, is to leave no one behind. These two young people understand your needs. They grew up among you. They feel the pain that you feel. There are times when you believe that is only you 
were with all food at some point in time. Chanel and Nicola was also with all food. They understand what it means when you have a gas pain. And they make themselves available to work with you, to work together, to bring about a different Jacob sentiment, to bring about a different Las Vegas, a different Alexander Village, a different Palo Seco. They want to bring the communities together. They want to create programs that will be able to help you to make a dollar. They have a great idea to bring back some preservative courses where you can be beneficial. They want to bring some roti courses to the community where you can also be a caterer. They want to ensure that the jobs that will come becomes available in the corporation that you young vibrant people will fill those positions they want to ensure not as rowley rich getting richer they, they, these two ladies plan is to help the poor get rich that is the plan but you could give them the opportunity the power is within you the power is right in your finger to get up on the 14th and forget all these babblers who worse than you who come in to tell you vote PNM where when them don't even know where the next meal coming from I think it was Stalin who speak about sufferers don't care about country and sufferers don't care about tongue sufferers care where the next meal coming from and that is the mission of these two young ladies to ensure that you know where your next meal coming from. Those people who canvassing, I have a message for you as I close. And the message that I have for you is how long again, how much longer you intend to be used? How much longer you intend to hold on to something that cannot sustain you. This little you are be work where, they, where you feel that you can't do it out. And this CPEP work, which is a new norm to make you believe that you is a contractor. So you dress up and I work in CPEP and I but guess what? When you go in the grocery to CPEP money. You're going and ask Chinese. Chinese, you could cut a butter. You want a half a butter? If you go out by Devon establishment, you're going very well to say, all are we from the same village, boy? What you could do for me? I could get something credit. That is what the CPEP work and the URP work will give you. Time to elevate yourselves. Chanel and Nicola intend to bring registration forms to you the people who have ambition and to help you to get registered in the SIPA borough not regional corporation in the SIPA borough you know why? so that you can be contractors building your own box drain it's no more a contractor from Digo Martin coming down here to build a box drain for you that is how it must be. You have to benefit from the resources in your community. We cannot have the SIPA borrow. Look at chairman here. We cannot have the SIPA borrow. And when you check the list of contractors, the only, the only people that is qualified is people from here. No, not here. People from there and everywhere. Nobody from here. We want to change that. We want you, the people, to be able to put in a tender in the borough corporation to get a box drain, to fence up the court, and to pave the road. We want people from here. We want people from here to be suppliers to the borough corporation. 
the little establishments, the little hardwares that it have in our community, we want those hardwares to be the next junior Sami. That is what we want. We want our village. We want our village to benefit. I think I had enough. The other morning I get up and I end. I say, but who is this Waka man? When I come outside, I see three Waka man licking off grass head going down the road. So I tell him, Omar, I say, Omar, boy, them dog and them can't go and do the numbers there, you know. <laughs> eh, eh. So I driving out the road. I hear a man say, Mr. Victor. I stop. I say, what happened? He said, I, did. I just follow your program. He said, let me tell you something. We don't even see just no miss that program. I hope all you miss what I just say. He said, we don't even see just no miss that program. But you know where he cut in? He cut in down by me in Palosico. You know where he come from? See just. So my question, we don't have people in Jacob's settlement who could cut grass with Waka too. We don't have people in Los Paro who could cut grass with Waka. We have people who could do the same job. These two young ladies, we will hold them accountable to make sure that employment come to you in Jacob's settlement and the surroundings. That is what it is about. You must benefit, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to tell you that you cannot, you will not, you have the experience to know that you will never benefit under Ali Ramdeo and Anton George because experience is the greatest teacher. You, the people, have to wake up. Do not allow your parents or your grandparents to tell you about race. Do not allow them to mamaga you and tell you the Indian is your enemy. Your enemy is your own PNM. That is your enemy from 1956. You know why? Because if the PNM wasn't your enemy today you would have been better off you would have been in a better position so don't let them fool you Kamla Pasad Bisasa had five years Basdeo Pande had five years I have a question for you under who government under who government all these big contractors and all these big establishment under which government they benefited? You answer that question. It pa, Kamla had five years. Pande had five years. All these big establishment, Kolsa, Junior, Sami, this one, that one. You tell me under who government they became rich. And let me tell you something. Some people will be shame and some people will be wicked enough to tell you otherwise they benefited under the same PNM government that you voted for. They make their millions under the same PNM government that you believe is your government. They are secure for life under the same government that have the color of your skin. They benefited. What you have is old talk. Gun talk. That is what they give you. You must rise up. You must rise up as a people. And you must get conscious. And you must understand that you have a right to survive you must understand that you have a right to benefit from the resources 
and until you understand that that is your constitutional right to stand up against any government any government whether it be UNC or whether it be PNM it is your right to stand up against any government and ensure that the resources of the country comes to you that is your right don't let people fool you into all talk and talk about this government and Indian and all that hogwash you have a right to benefit and for you to benefit you have to stand up you have to get up and vote the PNM out and if you vote Chanel and you vote Nicola and after the first term they did not deliver then you must vote them out too that is what it has to be this must be you perform you stay you fail you go I tell Chanel and I tell him Nicola tonight when they win this election anytime you see they have to come and campaign and ask you for the vote is because they fail when you perform like how Sheila Lamorel used to perform you don't have to walk wrong and ask nobody to vote for you your works will speak for you that is what it must be you must let their works speak for them we must get rid of the die hard stupidity because the only the only thing about this die hard stupidity is it get you more dotish because they get nothing i is a pnm they give you nothing i is a pnm you have no work i is a pnm you can't buy food i is a pnm you can't even get i is a pnm i don't want you to be a pnm i want you to be a man and i want you to be a woman who will stand up for what is right that is what we must be stand up against any oppressive government unc or pnm i protested against the unc stanley ryan is the man who paved this court i know them guys here know that stanley ryan under the unc is the man who fenced this court stanley ryan caused me to have to go and live by my grandmother because my father say you is a unc you can't live here i was telling you this for a reason stanley ryan under the unc did this stanley ryan under the unc put up those things that used to shine i am telling you chanel and nicola under the unc will make these things shine again And they would not they would not just make it shine i take note chanel said that she intends to talk with you the community and to set up a pay back on that side where the children will have this thing they could slide down on and the elderly could come out in the evening with the walking stick and still tell the spouse girl i love you still you know <laughs> even though the teeth are never here i still love you we could have that kind of love i remember the days with mendoza and grant when we would have cooked right here when it used to be donkey grass but you know what everybody want to make you believe that all this thing happened is the pnm do that and the pnm do this that is what they want to make you feel but let me tell you something if the pnm did care about jacob settlement i am telling you the lights on this court 
would have been shining today and this place would have been a shining armor in Jacob's settlement. That is what it would have been. So these two ladies, they said they have heard your cries and it's you now to help them to wipe away your tears. And if you in telling you that I am going to be standing with you to ensure that these two young beautiful ladies perform as no counselor ever performed and set a bar that any counselor who will want to challenge them would understand that they need to rise above that bar in order to be your representative. That is what you must deserve. So I tell you tonight, come August 14th, do not listen to mommy. Do not listen to daddy. Listen to Nicola and Chanel and come out very early on the 14th of August. Go to the polling station. Look for Chanel. Look for Nicola. Look for the sun. Look for the symbol. And vote resoundingly to have a better community a life that you and your grandchildren will be proud with. Vote for these two candidates. I thank you and good night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard, you have listened. The ball is in your court. Uh, well, not, not literally, because I'm not in this court. But now it's your turn to do what you have to do to get what you deserve as a community. What you deserve as a country. And you know, Victor say you want you to be what? Um, what he, but, but I want you to be a Trinidadian first. Don't be a PNMI, don't be my UNC, but be a Trinidadian first. And vote for what is right for your country, for your children, for your grandchildren, for the security of your community. And then we'll see a difference. So before we close, I, Mr. Ife. Somewhere in the vicinity here, yeah. we like to ask if you to say a few words. If, if you will, <laughs> if you're a fan, man. Good night, the people of Jacob Settlement. I ain't come to say long, but I come to see the writing. I just wanna um, say that the people of Jacob Settlement, we, we are really, really, really fed up. Fed up, that means that we're real fed up. And it have a lot of aspects need to change around the area to our facility that the people have to come together for ourselves and fix it. You know what I mean? That the help of the, 
the PNM wasn't successful for the last how much years. And the lights on the court will be going on four years. We have ride them three years straight to deal with the lights, to deal with the toilets, to deal with the fencing. No help. Now, elections come in. They're walking around. Promises. Only promises. We don't want to promises again. We want things come and done. Jacob said to me, there's plenty of flood. I never see that in my life. A street and B street does get a real flood. Unfinished box drains. Unfinished roads. No work. No job for the youths. I could put my head on a block. I can even call two persons in Jacob's settlement here working in any corporation. I, I talk in facts. I don't talk about 10 days and CPAP. Okay. Yes, yeah, son. I talk about permanent jobs that people could come and get and come out and support their families because nothing cheap. Gas in cheap, grocery in cheap, children in cheap, life in cheap. So I just want to come out and say, let's do the right thing. And let's support Chanel and Nicola and all the rest of people. Come on, guys, you're 40 now. We're changing lives and we're changing matters. Thank you. Well, that is one of your own speaking there. Usually you come and you bring us other people and they tell you all kinds of things. We bring one of your own to tell all you. So it's fact, not fiction. The next man coming up is Platz. The Platz. I have Platz is the man in his own here. You know. So I want Platz to come and say a few words before we wrap up. Platz. Good night, everybody. I'm coming from Erin. Everybody know me as Platz, Fisherman, Iron Man, all kind of man. No, no, my man, right? But as we say, we fed up. And it's time for a change. I'm from Erin. I can tell you when I watch a 10 day school, they swear it's a school. You don't call your people that work in the 10 day school. You can swear that. When you watch them, you can't even make out one in this school because it's one family that's working. And we fed up on that. We need a change and a support. Shida Roberts, Ms. Nicola, Sylvester, and we fed up on what's going on in Erin, Grand Show, Santa Flora, Jacob Settlement. We fed up. So the fourth now, August, you want to talk about and vote for Shida Roberts and Ms. Nicola, Sylvester. On the fourth now, August, right, people? We vote and for who? Chanel, 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 Nicola, Chanel, Nicola, thank you. Well, we have come here tonight and we have given you the facts. We have put it squarely in your corner now to decide for you all to do what is proper, what is just, and what you deserve for your community. So before we close, let me call Nicola, Chanel. Your candidates, Erin and Palaseco, support, support. Good night, everyone. So keep alo, come and give me something again before you go. Run the track by the time. All right.
Gentlemen, all right. So, we have some refreshments here. We ask you not to leave. We have some refreshments here for you. You could get a sandwich and you could get a soft drink. So, feel free to come in, it's all available for everybody. in July. Very good this one. Yeah. This is how we like to party. Really? Yeah. Come on. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. To go with the bones Before we reach the day We start making noise Well, they say I'm trying something new I'm staying home with you All the chairs are helping you do I'm tired of the complaining The constant unrushing And when they come for me You must buy wine with me Well, you're not your bestie all the parents are new Way yo, now you go know Why you love me parents too Way yo, just come again You go down to learn the song Way yo, now you go see All the parents are new Way yo, come down Way yo, come down Come down, August 14 Put your finger in your leg the new color of the album. Mm -hmm. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. I come home from Paris. You are accusing me for having outside your man. And in every night, you sell up your mouth. Well, you want me and know what parent is about So why you so in the curtain? I go to the cooking Boy, you want to do the house cleaning Vanny, the chairs for you That cake I'm making too And when they come for me You must buy one with me Boy, yo, now you go see All the parent does have me Boy, yo, now you go know why you love me parents so Why you just come out when You go down to learn the song Why you come down Why you come down Yeah Get them Somebody say keep all on one side Ding 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 Alright Get them Way yo, come go. Way yo, come go. Hey, way yo, come go. Hey, come go. Ding dong. Ah yes, we love the parang in July. Hey, ding dong. Time, the power inside 